All right, so this is a follow-up to my previous video about how to create custom Cortana commands. I've cleaned up the code a little bit and I've made it a bit more user-friendly and updated the GitHub repository. So I'd recommend looking at the past video just because it really gets down into the details of how the code works. But if you just want, sort of want to plug some new values in, here's how you can do that. So let's open up Visual Studio and then we're going to open something from source control. And then I'm going to clone a repository from GitHub. Um, these are some of my GitHub repositories. One of them is custom Cortana commands template. I'm just going to download that. So while this downloads, I just want to talk about the previous video. So the previous video, I used an example of shutting down the computer. And there was something that I overlooked, which is that because we're using a Windows universal application, which are designed to run on lots of different platforms, not just PCs, you know, smartphones, Xboxes, what have you, it doesn't include the process class, which is how you would run commands like shutting down the computer. And because you can't rely on being able to do those things on all the different platforms. So the C sharp that we can use in the universal Windows application is actually quite a bit more limited than I originally thought. So that, that was my mistake. But you still can do some things like you can open web pages, you can open files, you can create custom responses but you can't do everything that your your typical C sharp can do, which is a little bit disappointing, but we still have a lot that we can do. So this is finished downloading, so let's just open that up. So now we're gonna open this solution. This is actually the first time I've, been, I've used this on this computer, so it'll be able to see how it actually translate to a computer that hasn't, hasn't had custom commands uh, registered with it before. Um, view. Solution Explorer. Install missing features. Install. This is actually good. If I uh, had done this before on the other computer, I wouldn't have uh, thought to show you this. Really won't need to do that. As you can see, I also didn't have Universal Windows application, the, the template for that installed. So it's going to take a while, it looks like. Okay, so well now, let's reopen this now. Presumably it'll be working this time. All right, so you can see that there's this uh, class called Cortana functions, and you can also see that there's the custom voice command definitions.xml. So I have two examples in here. One's open file, then it says open in your file, and one's open website. So if you go to Cortana functions, it doesn't really matter how it's implemented, but I have this uh, dictionary here and it maps one of the command names from here. So command name, command name. Let's do the open website one. So it maps this command name to the code nested there. So here you say open website and it executes this and it opens this website, um, in this case, reddit.com. You can look at how that works. If you're interested, I'll go over it real quick. It's not entirely relevant though, but in app.xml, and I went over this in the other video, but I have this Cortana functions class and I call register VCD. Then it will go Cortana functions run command, and then it will pass the argument name, which is this command and then I get the uh, the command name and then I do the lookup in this dictionary the command name and then I invoke the function but that's neither here nor there um, the important part is that all you need to do is look up this VCD lookup dictionary and see the command name and see the code that runs when that command is called um, I have some errors obviously here as I said this is the first time I've open this class on, on on this computer so this will be more similar to what you're looking at let's try compiling it and see what it does oh here we go well you can see that this compiler made that so maybe this does work hey cortana listen up open website oh that's all i want that will happen, that will happen. It's a pain in the ass, but it will happen. Hey Cortana, listen up. We'll open website. That, that. All right. Opening your oh, website. it did work. 
so it'll show this thing but it did open reddit which is what we asked for so that should work now there's another one in here called open file so all there is is that there's this text file and i say uh just open that that test deck dot text file so let's try that hey cortana listen up open file all right opening your file I think it's better if you say it all quickly, is typically how it works, so yeah. Um, just download this GitHub repo. You're gonna go to vo custom voice command definitions, add something that looks like this. I go into more detail in the previous video. And you know, try things out. Unfortunately, the, uh, the C Sharp is limited in this uh, Universal Windows application project, but I'm sure as people work on it, uh, it'll people will find out how to do more and more things. It, it's pretty early in the game, but I think that uh, I've, I've made pretty good progress. So thanks for watching.